approach never before taken by Tulsa's mayor and city council. The top five goals for 2012 are now in place. They include developing transportation plans, improving public safety, making local government more efficient, and beautifying Tulsa. But the number one goal is developing the economy. Two News reporter Liz Bryant is live at City Hall with how they plan to do it. Karen, the plan is to create task forces to make sure those goals become a reality. Members will have specific deadlines to get their job done. And with such a broad goal of growing the economy, some have already started. Each one of these offices here uh, generally has a different business in it. Sean Griffin is the founder of the Collaboratorium. We've been in operation for four years. Entrepreneurs can start up their business here with very little expense. We are definitely developing the economy and through startups. And it's those business-minded people the city hopes to attract. Putting it on paper actually helps make it more real and more tangible. Um, it helps the entrepreneur think more meaningfully about what it is they're truly trying to create. There are 46 jobs jobs that have come out of this one floor at the Collaboratorium in downtown Tulsa. Where the magic happens for consumer affairs. One of the businesses is Consumer Affairs. Top 2,000 websites in the U.S. Their website gets 2.5 million visitors each month and they broadcast on 150 radio stations. We've hired 11 people in Tulsa in the last 15 months. CEO Zach Carmen says the only way to grow the economy is through entrepreneurs. He says it's a misconception that large businesses drive growth. Maybe a few special instances in Tulsa, like Williams or WorldCom before it went away, sort of, or even CFS before it went away. All net job growth since 1980 to today has come from companies five years and younger. And there are specific goals for growing the Tulsa economy. They include building business along the Arkansas River, promoting tourism, and growing the energy industry. Live in downtown Tulsa, Liz Bryant, 2 News works for you.